This summer, I hauled my plastic roto-molded Windrider 17 from Lake Champlain over to the mecca of wooden boat building, wooden boat school in Brooklyn, Maine, to catch up with Jim Brown and John Marples. Their class was building the Sea Clipper 20, a new design by Jim and John. They both took some time to check out my highly modified Windrider 17, which I use for adventure beach cruising. And they both talked about the special qualities of this type of small trimaran. So we've learned a lot over this thing, and we've tried to use a lot of it in this 20-footer in there. The 20-footer is supposed to be the next logical step up, you know. For instance, it has a very deep, sharp forefoot. It also has a very deep, powerful rudder, kick-up rudder, which this boat needs. Mm -hmm. And it also has a centerboard or a daggerboard. The plans include either. You know, so the plywood boat's got a lot of the stuff, I think we've got a lot of the stuff fixed that, that went wrong here. But it was all mice nuts because people just love this thing, you know. <laughs> Well, let's, you know, that's really hard to figure a way to put a place to put the anchor, and I think that's very cool. It is. Mac, you've done a lot of thinking. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah, this is really a highly developed cruising machine. <laughs> wow. And I think it's the it's the shape of things to come. I think the, I think the the future of sailing is. It's going to look a lot like this when people begin to get the idea of just what a wonderful thing it is to be able to sit down inside the boat comfortably and, and drive the thing with this totally new ergonomic, you know. So much different than regular sailing. You, you lose something. You don't have to hang your fanny out over the water to keep from tipping over. And that's fun up to a point, you know, that's, that's fun. But you can sit here all day. You really want to go somewhere. You know, when you go sailing in this thing, you're really not just taking a ride in the boat. You're wearing the boat. You put the boat on, and when it starts to feel like a comfortable pair of pants or a comfortable pair of shoes, then you're going to become a really good sailor with it. <laughs> so there's some, some things that are a little more awkward, but boy, once you get going, there's just nothing like sitting here and smoozing along. I like to think of it as... Uh, um, letting, letting the boat take the pilot on the boat's trip instead of the pilot's trip. You know, it'll, it'll take you on its own trip. And because you don't have to be continually preoccupied with the operation of the vessel. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, there's no fear. You take away the fear component, you take away, uh, and and all of the upset of, of 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 your level world, you know, that comes with with heeling over and, and spilling water over the lee rail. You take that all away, and all of a sudden, it becomes manageable. You're dealing with okay, which way do I point it, and what is the sail doing? And you don't have to worry about anything else. It's just, it's just easy. So, you know, that's why they're fun to sail. <laughs> But there's one consequence of having that rounded forebody at the knuckle and this longer keel that's a very positive consequence. And that is downwind and heavy weather. This thing will not broach. When you catch a wave and you start down that wave, man, it doesn't matter what you do with the rudder, the boat's gonna go down the wave. It's, it's a great sensation to have a boat that will not broach, you know. <laughs> I've heard several cases of people that, old guys particularly, have a Windrider, either a 16 or a 17, and they go sailing every day of their lives, you know. Every day they're out there. And that just tickles the hell out of me. You know? uh, that the boat would become that important to anybody. Yep. It's important to me because I, I, uh, I, I don't drive, so when I get cabin fever, I just hop in the boat, me and my dog. <laughs> you know? And that's another thing about the 17 is it's big enough to take your dog. I have a 16 and I love it. 
I just had a lot of fun with the 16, but I can't take my dog. Dog's too big. <laughs> it's silly. It's just plain silly the way we feel about these boats. <laughs> you know, you know what we're looking at here, man. This this is the shape of things to come. You know, there's going to be a lot more multi hulls like this. Yeah. Bigger, high techy stuff. The 20 footer in there was intended as the next logical step up, but it's rank simple, dirty, cheap, ugly, you know. This thing with those two windshields, God, imagine. Just just imagine a really a, a really serious version of this thing about 20 feet long. <laughs>